Breaking news from the Elon Musk 24 hours. SpaceX's Starship Flight 8 is officially cleared for launch, with the FAA setting a groundbreaking February 26 launch window. This rapid turnaround just 31 days after Flight 7 could mark SpaceX's second consecutive monthly launch, showcasing the incredible pace of their reusable rocket program. But that's not all making waves in the space industry today. Elon Musk has sparked intense debate with his bold proposal to deorbit the International Space Station by 2027, three years ahead of NASA's schedule. Meanwhile, NASA itself is celebrating a major milestone as the SLS side boosters for the Artemis II mission stand fully stacked, bringing us one step closer to returning humans to the moon. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Today, we're bringing you exclusive coverage of these groundbreaking developments that are reshaping the future of spaceflight. Let's dive right in. Building on our opening story, we're witnessing a historic moment in space exploration that few could have imagined possible just a few years ago. Picture this. In the pre-dawn darkness at Starbase, Texas, engineers are making final preparations for what could be SpaceX's most ambitious launch yet. The massive Starship Flight 8 stands ready, gleaming under the floodlights, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The FAA's official confirmation for a February 26 launch wasn't just another regulatory approval. It was a moment that sent waves of excitement through the entire space community. The story behind the speed. The pace of development has been nothing short of extraordinary. Just 31 days after Flight 7 touched down in the Pacific, SpaceX is ready to launch again. This isn't just about breaking records. It's about rewriting the rules of what's possible in spaceflight. For the teams working around the clock at Starbase, each day brings new challenges and breakthroughs. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, shared one SpaceX engineer, speaking on condition of anonymity. The atmosphere here is electric. Everyone knows we're part of something revolutionary. Inside the launch preparations, the preparation of Ship 34 and Booster 15 reads like a technological thriller. Late into the night on February 19th, teams carefully transported the critical hot staging ring to Megabay. This wasn't just another hardware installation. It was a crucial moment that would determine the fate of the entire mission. By dawn the next day, the transport stand had already departed, confirming successful installation on B-15. But the real drama unfolds in the testing of the Mechazilla catch system. Picture massive mechanical arms designed to catch a returning rocket booster, something that's never been successfully done before. During recent tests, these enormous structures performed an intricate dance of lifting, closing, and opening movements. Each test brings us closer to what could be a revolutionary moment in spaceflight history. The human element behind every technical achievement lies a human story. Teams of engineers have spent countless hours fine-tuning the V2 heat shield upgrades on Ship 34. These aren't just improvements on paper. They represent lessons learned through trial and error, through success and failure. Each modification carries the weight of collective experience and the hopes for a successful mission. The tank farm upgrades tell a similar story of dedication. Engineers have worked through nights and weekends, ensuring every connection is perfect, every pressure reading exact. The stakes couldn't be higher, these systems will need to perform flawlessly during the critical moments of launch. A mission like no other, Flight 8's mission profile reads like science fiction becoming reality. As the massive rocket lifts off, it will carry not just hardware, but the dreams and aspirations of thousands who have worked to make this moment possible. The super heavy booster's attempted landing using Mechazilla arms isn't just a technical achievement. It's a ballet of precision engineering played out against the Texas sky. The payload deployment tests add another layer of complexity and purpose to the mission. While specific details remain classified, sources suggest these tests will evaluate Starship's capability to deploy multiple satellites with unprecedented precision. Each successful deployment would mark another step toward making space more accessible for scientific research and commercial applications. The ISS debate a turning point in space history, 
Elon Musk's proposal to deorbit the International Space Station by 2027 isn't just a timeline adjustment. It's a statement about the future of human presence in space. The ISS has been our continuous home in space for over two decades, hosting hundreds of astronauts and thousands of scientific experiments. Its planned retirement marks the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter in space exploration. The $843 million contract for the United States deorbit vehicle, USDV, represents more than just a technical solution. It's about ensuring the safe and dignified end to humanity's first permanent outpost in space. The modified Dragon spacecraft will have the monumental responsibility of guiding the massive structure through its final journey. The race for the future. The commercial space station landscape is evolving rapidly, creating a complex web of opportunities and challenges. Axiom Space's ambitious 2028 target, the ongoing development of Orbital Reef and Starlab, and vast promising progress with their station already in production, each represents a different vision for humanity's future in orbit. Senator Ted Cruz's warning about potential strategic implications adds another layer of urgency to the situation. The race isn't just about technological achievement, it's about maintaining leadership in a new era of space exploration. The decisions made today will echo through decades of future space development. NASA's Artemis II, a moon mission takes shape. Meanwhile, at Kennedy Space Center, history is being written one component at a time. The completion of the Space Launch System's solid rocket booster stacking isn't just a technical milestone, it's a physical manifestation of humanity's return to the moon. Each of the five segments represents years of engineering excellence and countless hours of dedicated work. The massive boosters standing tall in the Vehicle Assembly Building will provide 75% of the initial thrust needed to send the first crewed Artemis mission around the moon. This isn't just about numbers and specifications. It's about rekindling the spirit of exploration that first took humans to the moon over half a century ago. Safety, the hidden story. Behind the excitement and innovation lies an unwavering commitment to safety. The FAA's swift approval process for Flight 8 demonstrates how far we've come in balancing rapid development with rigorous safety standards. Each designated danger zone, each safety protocol, represents lessons learned through decades of spaceflight experience. The investigation into Flight 7's minor anomalies wasn't just a regulatory requirement. It was an opportunity to make Flight 8 even safer. Teams have worked tirelessly to incorporate these lessons, proving that in the race to space, safety remains paramount. The road ahead. As we approach the launch date, the excitement at Starbase is palpable. Final preparations are underway, each check and double check bringing us closer to another historic moment in spaceflight. The integration of lessons from previous flights, the refined safety protocols, the optimized trajectories, all represent the culmination of years of innovation and dedication. The story of Flight 8 is more than just a launch. It's a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, in the undying spirit of exploration. As the countdown begins, we're not just witnessing another rocket launch. We're watching the future of space travel unfold before our eyes. As we stand on the brink of another historic SpaceX launch, it's clear that the future of space exploration has never been more exciting. Flight 8 represents not just another milestone, but a testament to human innovation and perseverance. With the ISS transition on the horizon and NASA's Artemis program gaining momentum, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in spaceflight. The next few weeks will be crucial for the space industry. Will SpaceX successfully catch a booster with Mechazilla? Can they maintain their ambitious monthly launch cadence? The answers to these questions will shape the future of space transportation. Join us on this incredible journey of discovery and innovation. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the most comprehensive coverage of these groundbreaking developments. Our mission is to reach 10,000 subscribers who share our passion for space exploration. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the latest space developments, please support our channel by hitting the like button and subscribing. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts 
who would appreciate staying informed about these exciting developments. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Flight 8 and what you're most looking forward to seeing in this launch. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we believe that the next giant leap for humanity is just around the corner. Stay curious, stay inspired, and keep looking up. Breaking news from Blue Origin has sent shockwaves through the space industry today. In an internal email obtained by CNBC's Morgan Brennan just minutes ago, Jeff Bezos's space venture announced a dramatic 10% reduction in its workforce. The cuts will impact critical areas, engineering, R&D, and program management. But that's not all. After weeks of silence following New Glenn's historic first orbital flight, Blue Origin's CEO has finally pulled back the curtain on what happened to their massive booster that mysteriously vanished during its descent. The revelation comes with an unexpected twist. Despite these setbacks, the company is doubling down on its ambitious plans, announcing their intention to land on the moon this year. The question on everyone's mind, how can Blue Origin pursue lunar ambitions while laying off 1,000 employees? Is this a strategic realignment or is Bezos' space dream hitting turbulence? Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for space industry news and developments. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of Blue Origin's latest moves and what they mean for the future of commercial spaceflight. Let's dive right in, right? The competition with SpaceX adds another layer of intrigue to the story. While Elon Musk enjoys unprecedented access to President Trump, Bezos has taken an unexpectedly diplomatic approach. He's publicly expressed trust in Musk's assertion that this political influence won't give SpaceX an unfair advantage. Bezos has even voiced support for the Department of Government Efficiency, a committee co-chaired by Musk. It's a fascinating dynamic. Two billionaires engaged in the space race of the century, maintaining a delicate balance of competition and cooperation. But executing these ambitious plans requires more than just technical expertise. Dave Limp is orchestrating a fundamental transformation of Blue Origin's culture. The company has historically operated more like a research and development organization, focusing on innovation over production. Now, LIMP is working to integrate Amazon's customer-centric 